God says he's against Gog. That's not a good position to be in. God's going to lead them out against Israel and then cause them to fall there. Not that happened in the Old Testament. Sometimes God stirred up an army against Israel. We read in the prophets about God sending the Assyrians and Babylon, Babylonians against Israel. We also read about judgment against those places that defeated his people. When we don't hear the specifics of God sending an army, is God behind it? Satan steals, kills, and destroys. Satan was behind it, but God was over all. God knows Satan is all for trying to wipe out Israel from existence. When you hear people today say that Israel shouldn't exist, that's straight Satan talk. That's who is behind that kind of thinking. God knows what Satan will do. He's not creative. He's out to steal, kill, and destroy. He especially wants to do that to God's children, from whom all the nations will be blessed. God sets the boundaries for how Satan can work. We see that in Job's story. God sets the boundaries for these events. He will intervene where needed, and though he plots no evil, he will remove his hand in places and set boundaries to where Satan can work. They will be held accountable for their evil, just as we are held accountable for our sin. The whole world is under the sway of the wicked one. That's First John 5.19. You are either giving yourself to Satan's control or submitting yourself to God's control. Verse 18 says that the one born of God does not keep on sinning because they are protected by God and the evil one cannot touch him. Submit yourself into God's care. Let him keep you. You won't keep from sin by your own willpower, but God's power can keep you walking in his ways and glorifying him.